Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Milou and I'm here with a new process video for you today. Today I am working in my Travelers notebook and I'm working with my pocket pages kit of February. Um, uh, it's by Scrap Delight and I am uh, using the leftovers. When I get my kit, first I make my pocket pages layout. After that I make some scrapbook layouts and the tiny scraps pieces I use in my Traveler's Notebook. Here you can see I use the pieces of paper which are already used to punch out figures, to cut out stuff and I use them as a layer and you cannot see anything about it so that's a good thing. So my kit, um, well this is my second one, I know it's already June and with my um, project life I'm in April but with the kit crushers I am in February but my kits go like really finished I cannot make anything with it so yeah this hugs and kisses uh, quote was the inside of a pocket pages card I used the card for uh, or in my scrap no in my pocket pages layout but I covered it up with the picture so I thought it was a shame and I cut out this quote so I could use it somewhere else and I really liked it in my uh, traveler's notebook I was a little bit playing around where to put it but I thought it's a bit too busy if I put the picture and then the card so I thought let's make it a tip in and cover up my photo on the back of this card there is black line there are black lines so I use that as my journaling uh, spot and that's very handy and I'm putting it as a tip in in my Traveler's notebook with two sides of washi tape and here I decide to put my photo underneath but then I realized no I want to do something with the background it's quite plain right now and I wanted to use my watercolors nothing special just smushing it around uh, as, um, I am not covering up every spot I really like that so you can see it's playful and just very easy um, so it makes it a little bit more interesting so that was that and then I am going to put my picture in there yes here I go <laughs> And after that I will find a piece of paper, oh not yet, sorry. I make my faux stitching around the uh, tip-in. You may recognize that from my pro uh, project life, I like to do it over there. I thought doing it in three different spots because I didn't like it going around the washi. Here I use some gold glitter paper to make a banner with my two-pointed flag. The glitter paper was also in the kit. I barely used it uh, because I didn't find it very matching. But um, yeah, it will come in handy in a different project for sure. I really love it. So I put on some XOXO puffy stickers and a doodly border around the edges. I have a lot of, lot of puffy stickers left over as you can see from the kit. Um, that's because it was a loved themed one and I didn't have much of these uh, for in my project life. So I could use them here. This picture is about my uh, sister-in-law and my little niece. So definitely love them. And here, l um, a few weeks ago I got a question from someone. Do you have a plan before you start scrapping? Here you can see I definitely do not. <laughs> Um, because otherwise, of course, I first would have stamped before putting my picture down and everything else. But I was like, oh, that would be really nice. This st uh, background stamp was, well, um, you can uh, do it as an add-on for the kids. And I have it. So I really liked it. And I was like, oh, I can use it at the background. But of course, it was already too late. So I tried to cover up a, a lot with the piece of paper as you could see so the ink wasn't going everywhere and I think it worked out pretty good some hearts were not stamped very clear but I like that effect actually and some of them I did um, color in with my pencil 
fiddly border around it and then that's it. I hope you like it. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet and you don't want to miss out on anything, do so. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.